After the last video, where I pretty openly admitted that my game just isn't fun, I didn't really had a clean solution ready. What I had instead was this uncomfortable mix of doubt and curiosity. I know what's broken now and I can feel it when I play it, but the harder question is whether I can actually fix it or if I'm just rearranging problems into a slightly nicer shape. But I still want to walk you through the direction I'm planning to take, even if I'm not 100% sure if it will work. The biggest issue before was boredom. The game asks you to do exactly one thing. Wait. One character, one task, one resource and a whole lot of dead time in between. No decisions, no pressure, no reason to stay mentally engaged. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that this wasn't something I could fix by tweaking just numbers or adding effects. The structure itself was wrong. So my first big step is kind of drastic. I am removing the single main character entirely. Instead of controlling one unit directly, the player will manage multiple characters, much more like in a strategy or micromanagement game. The idea is that you don't play as the astronaut, but you orchestrate them. You start small, at the beginning of a run you might only be able to spawn a single astronaut and place them somewhere in the world. That astronaut isn't permanent. They have a limited amount of oxygen and once that oxygen runs out, they're done. They can't keep working forever and you can't just ignore them. So suddenly time matters. And on top of that, each astronaut is specialized. One can mine specific resource type like astro wood, astro stone or astro ore or whatever, but not all of them. That immediately forces decisions. Where do I place which astronaut? What resource do I need right now? Do I spend my last oxygen capable unit on something risky or play it safe? And because pure optimization still isn't enough to stay interesting, there will be enemies. Aliens, monsters, whatever fits the world. Something that creates friction. The basic astronauts can defend themselves to a specific degree, but they're not meant to fight for long. That's where specialized soldier units come in. Astro soldiers whose job isn't to gather, but to protect. And now you're not just waiting for progress. You're constantly reacting. Expanding too aggressively without protection becomes dangerous. Playing too defensively slows your economic down. And this is where the moment to moment gameplay should finally start doing some real work. Instead of staring at a laser beam, you're juggling oxygen timers, unit placement, enemy threats and resource priorities. You're making small decisions all the time and those decisions compound. The run structure also changes because of this. A run ends when all your astronauts are out of oxygen. That's it. No dramatic failure screen, just the natural conclusion of your expedition. But the important part is what happens next. The resources you gather during that run can be used to upgrade future runs. More oxygen capacity, faster movement, better combat efficiency, maybe even new unit types. So even a failed or short run still feeds into the long-term progress. And unlocking new areas is tied to this as well. Once you've gathered enough resources, you can unlock the next side of the cube world. Each side becomes its own space to conquer, optimize and eventually fully exploit. And the progress here is no longer abstract, you can literally see it in the world then. Uh, which is a quite opposite to this <laughs> current situation. And this brings me to the second big problem from the last video. The lack of a real end goal. Before, the goal was just to collect everything once. Which didn't feel like an achievement, just a checklist. And with the new structure, the end goal becomes much clearer and much more concrete. The game now can be completed when all six sides of the cube world have been fully played. What I like about this is that it ties directly into the core loop instead of sitting on top of it. You're not collecting resources for the sake of collecting them as before, you're now doing it to survive longer, unlock new areas and eventually conquer the entire world and each side you finish feels like a chapter closed I think and not just another number growing up like yeah the current situation. <laughs> and now to be completely honest, I don't know yet if this will actually be fun. On paper it fixes a lot of the problems, uh, it adds decisions, pressure, failure, recovery and progression but game design doesn't happen on paper, it happens on the moment you put your hands on the controls. There's a very real chance that I'll build this and discover a whole new set of problems. But this time at least I feel like, yeah, I'm asking the right questions, right? I'm not trying to polish boredom anymore, I'm trying to replace it with something that gives the player agency tension and a reason to care. And if this 
version still isn't fun, then that's just the next lesson <laughs> waiting to be learned. Thanks for watching and we see us in the next video. Bye.